Hey there, boys and girls, and mostly girls. Um, how's it going? Welcome back to Gunchy Plans. Today I'm doing a weekly plan with me, and this is the last week of my maternity leave. First of all, look at this cutie. This is my oldest, old, or my older daughter. <laughs> um, we're expecting in mid-September. So this is actually the last week of my planner before I go on maternity leave from work. Um, and so my thought, and I haven't been using dailies. Well, I've been using like a sticky note with a daily to-do list. So I guess that kind of counts as using dailies, but I haven't had like day on a pages. Um, my, my plan is just do this insert again for the next week. And then after that to kind of pare it down a little bit and basically just work on like a, um, well, I can show you actually, this is my thought. This is my plan. Last week of work here, last week of normalcy. Then I have made myself this little like undated daily with literally no date a sort of a template of what I'd like our days to look like when I'm on maternity leave before the baby comes it's gonna be me and my daughter my husband I think is still gonna be working from home at least that's what it looks like right now um, but he'll be in the office and we don't want to bug him so um, <laughs> this is the schedule of when the shows my daughter likes to watch are on TV and <laughs> so that's an option this is where she usually naps and so that kind of gives me an outline for my day and then this is a list of things I would like to do every day more or less um, and then this is, I guess it's a week on a page. I've never used it before, even though I bought it like six months ago or more. No. Yeah. Six months ago. feels like it's been longer than that, but I think it's just because there's been a pandemic. Um, it's supposed to be like a weekly cleaning routine schedule. And I think that's kind of what I would like to focus on. Like anything that varies from day to day is like, let's clean this room on this day and let's do this chore on this day. Cause I do want to try to keep the house a little bit tidy, especially while I still have the smallest amount of energy to dedicate, but I'm definitely feeling in my body, the reason why I'm going to be put on disability in another week, because it's just moving around is getting to be a lot. This insert is from Peanuts Planner Co. It's called the Grid Lovers Weekly. And I bought it in like the Black Friday sale last year. And I, uh, I haven't used it a lot since then, but I do really like a lot about it. And so it's working really well for me this week. Um, I basically, and I'm going to be setting things up exactly the same, more or less. Uh, my general to-do list is here. I use an Alistair weekly sometimes. And so that's helpful here to be able to check off when I want to do it. This is for general events to get like a bird's eye view of what the week looks like. Um, this here, I mean, it has dates but it's basically just a list of seven different meal ideas and I'm crossing them off as we eat them. Basically it's what we have ingredients for. And then this section is for my weekly like focus, tidying, decluttering, thing, nesting project. Um, so tasks for that. And then this is for my content creation. So I have a lot of stuff on here that's like stretch goals, um, but I do need to get this video filmed by the end of the week. So that's why you're here with me today. I'm gonna set this to the side so I can reference it as I go. But the first thing is just to toss on a little bit of highlighter and washi tape and make it look nice and pretty. So the focus this next week will be the kitchen. And this is something that can possibly run into the next week. Um, but I know some of the things that I want to get started on are uh, reorganizing the pantry, the 
top cupboards, the cup cupboards, where we keep our cups, and under the sink. Those are just some of the areas that I would like to kind of do. Oh, and the fridge too. Need to go through and get rid of things that are have been in there for too long and other things are just kind of disorganized. So I kind of want to just, I've been working not so much on cleaning, like I haven't been doing the, um, you know, scrubbing the baseboards kind of nesting, but like reorganizing and just tidying up spaces, cupboards, drawers, stuff like that. So this is like the last section I really need to do. Um, I think it is, it's too soon to put the list, to move over the list of dinners that we haven't cooked yet from this week to next week. Um, but I can add in the things that I know I've gotten ingredients for um, that I've already put on our, uh, what's it called? Grocery order, we do Walmart grocery pickup. Chicken, that's a long. I think there's one more thing. Eh, if I think of it, I probably will notice it at some point. Um, the to do list is mostly going to get pulled off of the things from the front of my planner. So let's go ahead and go there. Um, you haven't seen this actually because this wasn't in my monthly plan with me, but it will be in the flip through coming later this month sometime. Um, it's just kind of like a little postcard that came with a pop-up book that I have uh, that I got as a gift. But this here is the monthly um, reorganize kitchen is the project for the week and then there's a couple things maybe on here no no not really all right i'm going to move everything over from my day specific time specific tasks onto my weekly then um there's some stuff going on so i'm going to pull out the stickers i have like a stack of here and decorate a little bit. And then the last section here will be um, content creation stuff because I'm kind of trying to get a little bit ahead, at least on some filming, uh, for some things that I can. So I will show you as much as I feel comfortable showing you. <laughs> So here's what we've got. Um, I decided this time to split my content creation tasks by task as opposed to by video or, you know, deliverable. Um, so I have Instagram stuff at the top, but then I have things to plan, things to film, things to edit, and things to write. And I use these little icons from Twin16. I thought that would be fun. 
Um, over here we've got um, some curbside pickup things to do. Have to remember to pay the babysitter. I have to remember to bring home our pack and play from my in-laws house uh, because it's going to be the bassinet for the baby and currently it lives at my in-laws because they watch my daughter um, from Thursdays and Fridays and so she naps in there sometimes. So it needs to come home because this is the last day that she's going to be there. And then this one here, it kind of covered up the flag, but this is going to be like our last hurrah before going into hiding, as it were, before the baby comes. We're going to be isolating pretty strictly. Um, and so this is going to be, it really, we're just going over to my in-laws house. It's not that much of a hurrah, but um, I'm celebrating both of their birthdays and their anniversary. Um, this is this day is actually my father-in-law's birthday. My mother-in-law's birthday is the next week when we're already going to be kind of hiding. Um, and their anniversary was this last week. So we're going to be celebrating all those things together. I don't know what time it is yet. And so I've left it blank. I will fill it in when I get that info. And then this one here did a terrible job of um, kerning, I guess. But we do also have plans to go to mass at the church for the last time. Um, before going back to watching it on TV, at least I think. We're finally going to get around to having the discussion and nitty gritty of exactly what self-isolation means. But A couple dinner ideas, a couple to-do tasks, that will be added to. Um, I decided to just throw this little tracker on here for my exercise um, program that I use, Mom Strong. I've been doing the Beached Whale uh, program which is just a five minutes uh, for <laughs> late stage pregnancy and it seems like as much as I can manage but I still feel pretty productive after having done just five minutes of exercise and it helps me feel like you know I hopefully it will help with the you know an easier delivery and all of that um, once I get the time for our party on Saturday I can mark that off on here as well just kind of get a bird's eye view of what's going on it's there why not fill it and then I already went over what all was here so that is my plan for the week uh, the probably things will probably get added to it as we go as it always does but check over on Instagram and the link to that is down below um, and my Instagram where I post video or photos you'll see my weekly spreads there all the time I've been posting there very regularly once a day um, and hopefully we'll be able to keep that up as things get crazier for me. Here's what we've got. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe because I am still going to be posting content even with the new baby coming. Uh, things will still be coming out every Thursday and Sunday. That's the plan uh, for the future. So don't forget to subscribe and I don't know, ring the bell and comment and like and all of that. And I'll see you in the next one on Sunday. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.